Good morning, YouTube. It is me, Mystic Intellect, and today I wanted to do a collective reading on what's in store for you guys today, okay? I wanted to dive deep into this reading to basically um, give you guys something to look forward to on what to expect energy-wise, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So, um, Spirit Guys, please show me what is in store for today. I ask that you please protect the energy of the spirits and provide nothing but the honest truth. Thank you, Spirit. And please send out protection and healing for those who are watching this video that are in need of it. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. No, no, no fluff, no buff, and no um, over-talking. <laughs> All right. Spirit, guys, please tell me, what is the stuff for the collective today? What must they know today? What must they take heed of today, Spirit, guys? All right. We got three cards here. We have unity, we have conquest, and then we have stalemate. All right, so spirit is saying that current plans may have come to a standstill due to toxic people or energy. It is up to you to take control. Instead of sweeping problems under the carpet, take stock of the people and patterns that keep coming around to put a spoke in your wheels. Learn from the past. Be strong and don't get pulled into a repeating cycle. Breaking free is the first of many winning moves, okay? Next, we have unity. Seek the highest good for yourself and others. A string of events falls into place and brings a greater sense of togetherness. Connections with others will be harmonious and loving. Some will bring intimacy into your life that may have been lacking. You are opening your heart and leaving past restrictions behind. A message from the heavens will be uplifting. Next, last but not least, we have conquest. There is a battle, conflict, or struggle before you. Love is the solution. Kindness will win out over hate and cruelty. Be the bigger person. Play the stronger hand of honesty and do not succumb to understand tactics. Holding your head and dignity high will bring triumph. Something positive will come out of an unfavorable situation. An enemy could become a friend. The sun will shine again. Okay, so it feels like these are three different energies coming out here. So take what resonates and leave the rest, please. So 41, 46, and 43 may signify something very important for you today, okay? Now, spirit guides, let me know what's going on here with this stalemate energy. What is the stalemate energy about, spirit guides? Please show me what's coming up today. That could signal anything that still may. Okay, so there's a king of wands energy. This may have a lot to do with your passionate pursuits. You may even be in your two of swords energy too. Like maybe wondering, okay, what is it that I want to do today? What what path should I take today? What what project, what task, or what career move should I make today? That's something that could be showing up as a stalemate energy, okay? Yeah, we got the king of wands, the empress, and the strength card. You could be definitely having to choose between two different worlds here um a lot of you guys are tapping into this empress energy some of you guys could be in um beauty entertainment some of you guys could even be tapping into this energy of receiving wanting for opportunities to come your way um like you you're trying to shift into this energy of receiving more so than chasing after things that may not even be in an alignment so this still made energy is actually not negative at all it's all about you just basically having to make a choice on what just sets your heart on fire what sets your soul on fire and what contributes to this empress energy that you have right now and with the strip card it does show that you are actually tapping into your power at this time you've overcome a lot of challenges and today it's all about you taking the time out to basically evaluate your worth and understand what your worth is so that anybody, so that if anybody do try to come at you with some, with some sort of decision that you may need to make or with an offer, sorry, and an opportunity that you may need to make a decision on, you will be making that decision out of what you feel, what type of value you feel you offer the world versus versus above all anything else. Yep, because this full car right here at the bottom of the deck it's talking about you taking a leap of faith in a new direction here. So best believe, understand that whatever decision that you make today, make sure that it's for your benefit. Make sure it's for your highest self benefit, okay? All right, so spirit guys, please show me what else is in store for when it comes to finances today for the collective. 
I just wanted to make sure I clarified that first card, that stalemate energy, so that you understand, like, okay, what is spirit actually talking about with something being stalemate? Yeah, when it comes to your finances today, spirit guys are saying that today it's going to be all about you multitasking, multi-managing, um, and possibly dealing with a lot of people today that may have different views, that may have different perspective on things, or you may even just be dealing with energies that are just um, opposing to something here. Um, we got the world card. So I feel like a lot of you guys are closing up a lot of different cycles here today. A lot of you guys are going to be focusing on just basically evaluating. This judgment card here talks about evaluation, things actually um, being observed or evaluated or rated here. Some of you guys may even be having to basically end something here with a karmic situation with the four of swords and the ten of swords. Some of you guys may even have had to deal with some sort of either rejection or problem here in the past. But it's, it's looking like things are going to be leveling out. See, look at that two of swords energy wanted to come out so bad with the seven of swords. So definitely be mindful of scams, okay? Be mindful of people who are trying to reach out to you pertaining to things that may not even be real. Like, make sure you're not responding to every email or every text message these days. Because they are even, people are even contacting you via cell phone now. Like, how is it that, you know, people are having access to people's cell phones? Cell phone numbers. Okay, so, you know, these companies are selling people's information. And, you know, you got to be mindful about who you are responding to, who you're, you're sending out emails and messages to. Because you never know what people are up to these days okay all right next we have what's the store for uh love this uh love today and i guess i should spread this energy out for the rest of the week because you know anything to happen today that could just offset someone's tomorrow so let me see what's the store for love today and onward this week yeah when it comes to love somebody here is getting their wish fulfillment um, I, I feel like money is looking good for a lot of people this week. Also, um, someone wanted to take a leap of faith and wanted to pursue you. I do feel like um, the energy of today is all about somebody trying to break free from this burden here. And they're like basically resting their case here. Um, it does show here with this star and this nine of pentacles. Somebody here is showing up as a very attractive energy here. Like somebody here is um, very beautiful, very immaculate very unique looking someone here has a lot going on and can and are, is checking up a lot of boxes for someone's um conquest over you or conquest to you yes yeah, someone here when it comes to love is going to try to make an offer to you that is long term this is a long term type of situation here it doesn't feel like something short term at all it looks like somebody here is trying to overcome some sort of burden and it's like taking time to rest. Somebody here has been working really hard too, or they've been really busy with work or something, and they've been not able to probably communicate with you as much because they've been handling and dealing with a lot of things, but they do love you. They do care about you. I see that there's a new beginning for somebody here, and it does show me with the nine of cups, if you are single, it does show like you're, this week is all gonna be all about you basically um, focusing on your stability, your finances, and it's also showing that love for you this week. Even self-love this week is looking really good. Let's just cut the cut the chase and say, you know, without further ado, this love really has a lot to do with you as well. The full card came out here twice. So there's a masculine and feminine type of full energy here. Look at the full came out twice. So that means double good luck, double. It looks like this energy okay so the full car coming up twice in this reading is telling me that there is new new energy coming in new new energy and it's like spirit is like basically challenging you to take this super faith with this individual it could be sagittarius energy could be very present here and gemini and virgo energy is also showing up here what i feel like from this energy is that two there's two people showing up in love that are willing to take a leap of faith towards something here when it comes to love and it looks like both parties are up for the challenge so make sure this week that you know if you are single that you are not opposed to um new frequencies new energies that want to come in and see what you're about you know so let's go ahead and conclude this reading i don't like to take up everybody's time i like to make sure i split my messages up you know so that when you want to come back for another reading you can all right now Spirit, please close off this reading with a message for the collective. So, Spirit is basically wanting you to watch out for whatever it is. So, they're giving you a storm 
warning message. Somebody, so if someone's spirit guide is trying to warn them about some obstacles that are trying to interfere in whatever it is that you got going on, make sure you are doing any type of cleansings, okay? Make sure you do your egg cleansings, your uh, salt water cleansings, your bathe, your um, spiritual bathing cleanses to just re free yourself from whatever low vibration energies that are out there that are trying to steal your joy or your peace, okay? Speak up whenever there are any injustices occurring around you. If you feel like somebody been doing you wrong or if you've been seeing someone else do someone wrong, speak up because, you know, you don't want that to be, you don't want to have to sit with that energy if you don't want to. And make sure you speak up, of course, when you feel it's safe and necessary to do so. Uh, last but not least, spirit wants you to know that there is a spiritual awakening happening for many this week. So, you know, that spiritual extension, the, the spiritual extension symptoms such as headaches, such as um, dragginess, such as, you know, you trying to figure things out, having those aha moments are all part of your spiritual awakening this week. And then also spirit is wanting you to know to stop self-sabotaging because self-sabotaging only leads to just you missing out on opportunities to grow and to mold yourself into becoming who you're meant to become, okay? The numbers 33, 13, 40, and 24, once again, will also be additional numbers that you can definitely um, look out for and make certain some significance for you, all right? Thank you guys so much. It's me, Mystic Intellect, and please make sure you like, follow, and subscribe, and comment below on how this may serve you and how this resonates for you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.